Hey there. It was really a long day for me today with my friend Dan, or I call him Remo. And uh, it's the 12th of April. It's a Friday. And um, I slack my day off. Um, I didn't go to work because uh, first um, it was really scheduled for Eric, my friend Eric Baton. <coughs> um, as you can see in the video, because uh, it's the only time we can meet up. Because uh, it's been a while, haven't seen each other. So um, that's the day. It was a long day. I'm gonna tell what happened. But I was able to sleep like uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. And I admit, I'm a night owl. I, I couldn't just. I was planning to go to bed last night, I said early. But I got hooked with the computer, and then boom, I said, I have to sleep. So I woke up at 9 o'clock in the morning um, because um, I know Dan and I plan to. To, be, to meet up at 10 o'clock here in my place and I dreamt something that I'll be going to uh, it was raining and I saw my classmate from high school like Robert Gebala and it's something the sports something, I don't know what it is it's like, so I search about rain and it talks about cleansing so it was cool so I woke up had my shower I had my uh, spinach shake and then it was 10 o'clock and because I was fixing some of my stuff here while waiting for him and I called up Dan. I said, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> the most common thing we're saying already. Um, he said, he's like, oh, I'm here in the house in, in Zaki. And I said, like, well, I thought I'm going to be meeting up at 10. Oh, I thought it was 10.30. So he said, I'll be coming over. So he came like before 10.30. And then by the time he prepared, I got a call from Michael Hall. And he was the one we met with his partner, Tim, and at Dennis uh, two days ago when we had lunch coming from the convention and we just say hi checking out and they're pretty much doing some stuff but next week we might plan to meet up you know just to uh, hang out uh, with Tim and then we were driving then all the way down south and we I was, I was also rehearsing a song for Inutil uh, in the song from In the Heights that means useless in Spanish and we use that word also in the Philippines for the like, Tagalog word same spelling and then uh, we, because so, uh, Eric told me last night that, you know, there will be, instead of 9.30, we can meet him at 12 noon because of some very important people that we cannot get out of the uh, cruise ship. So we arrived around 10, 11.30 and we just went to the parking garage itself instead of waiting him outside there like Ron is really doing. So we went to the parking garage and then... Uh, I called him up and he said um, within 10 minutes he'll be out. So by 12 noon he got out and we went to this something in the terminal like a remittance or something <clears throat> to fix something. I don't know what it is. So and after that uh, we're supposed to go to Jetro. It's like a wholesaler in Miami but it's still far so and he only had like less than three hours to be out. So we decided to go, he said, let's go somewhere in State Brand. I was searching for State Brand. In order to find out, he was referring to Brandsmart USA. But the Brandsmart USA was still south, like in Coral Gables. He said, let's really far. Oh, let's go for Best Buy. So um, he, we, we didn't know where to go, but Dan was driving, heading to South Beach. And then let's go back, you know, and he was about to take a U-turn and I searched for Best Buy. It came out that's a Best Buy um, between Fifth Avenue and Alton Road. said, oh, this is the race we have in South Beach. So we decided to go, go back again from Biscayne and went there. And it was my first time, even though we always going, we, you know, uh, we usually go to South Beach for some setups. It was the first time to be in that building. And it was cool because there was TJ Maxx there, Best Buy, Staples, and uh, Ross besides Publix, and then some restaurants down below. And you're just in a building with a parking lot, so it's easy access. You don't have to park somewhere and walk uh, under the sun or something like that. So we went to Best Buy, canvas for his fax machine because he planned to send uh, a fax machine through a box. It's called Balik Bayan Box. It's a Tagalog, and it's in English means that you go back to your country. Bayan means country, Balik means return. Like, you know, so this is a ter terminology for people who go out of the country, like a sea, you know, like a seaman, like like Eric or me, and you know, to send money or to send some gifts and put in a box and cargo ship it. So he's planning to collect those stuff. And we went to Staples to compare it, but he decided to go to buy it to Best Buy. So he went to we went back to Best Buy and he bought that fax machine with some inks and some stuff that connect with that one. And um, 
we had our lunch at uh, I, I can't remember the name itself but it's something to do with pizza it's like planet pizza planet earth something like that and it's got pie pizza i think it's in under that building itself it was cool i like the place i ordered and first time i was so surprised it's a friday so i was able to eat meat then so i had beet and uh, arugula with uh, feta cheese and sweet, it's like onion something i don't know what kind of onion is that but it's so good with balsamic vinegar that i chose for the dressing and it was cool and i also have a stuffed mushroom for appetizer and we were like rushing because eric said um, i can't help it like you know he really wants to go back to the cruise ship but he wasn't late so after that we went you know we drove him uh, back but instead of go and before going him bringing him back to the cruise ship we went to bdo remittance somewhere in downtown miami to bring that um uh the fax machine so at least he has no worries instead of bringing him to the cruise ship and going back there anyway so he brought the fax machine there so he gonna um bring send it next week uh after this this, this week itself and then um uh, we brought him back to the cruise ship so he's able to make it uh it was part of the video uh and then we decided to go back to uh alton and fifth road uh, fifth avenue uh building and we went to TJ Maxx, which I thought was Ross, but it, it was the, the I realized that the materials there, the, the uh, clothing, like the, sh the shirt that I saw was really made in Italy, but it's kind of a little bit expensive. So we went to Ross, and I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't really looking for those stuff. I was trying to look for a leather jacket for my cousin, and uh, it wasn't there. So I'm planning to go for a thrift store, maybe someday. And then, I'm sorry. <laughs> We uh, decided to, you know, had, um, actually before that we went to uh, Mango Red, or Red Mango rather, it's a yogurt, uh, you know, um, snack bar thingy, and we had yogurts and we, we, Dan and I shared it, and then that's why we went to the shop, uh, shopping for Ross and um, TJ Maxx, and then we drove up north uh, to Biscayne, Boulevard and I said since we're passing Biscayne, let's call I'm gonna call Jerry Armstrong who's our accountant and give him the uh, The uh, the letter because he sent me to mail something to him like my payment for him from for my you know for preparing my taxes and Something that I have to sign good thing. It was there. So we visited him and uh, I showed uh, Of course to Dan because he knows they know each other anyway the house and you know It was really amazing and uh, I showed him also the requirement for my bus pass and he gave me this 1040 file so i got that one too so it feels so like oh my god at least all these errands that i have to do i felt so happy when you do it you know so it happened so we didn't stay long and we drove up again to biscayne until we reach uh we just saw this diner called um what you call it the i uh, see i'm writing i'm writing it down i wrote it so i couldn't remember uh, i would you know jack's Holla hollywood uh diner is somewhere in hollywood and um, it was cool. I just I had since I didn't meet and ate any meat then. I just had egg salad wrap with the uh, clam chowder, uh, Manhattan clam chowder. It was good. And I was planning to take to bring take home the uh, other half of the wrap, but uh, Dan said like, well, we're gonna they'll watch a play, so it might be not be good anymore in the in the car. So I forced myself to eat them. <laughs> and then we drove up again, going to Flagler Drive to watch uh, the play at the Empire Stage with David Gordon. Uh, it's, in call, it's called Body Awareness. That's the one. And Clay uh, was already as an understudy, so it was replaced by Eric Rodriguez there. And it was, this is David Gordon. I worked with him for this very first play in Empire Stage because he owned that. He's a producer and it's called uh, Making Porn. So it was, the, the show Body Awareness was very funny as well. I like it. It was so real that I remember when I was in grade school, we had a play and we were really have to eat some food there. And the show itself, like it's a part of kitchen house, uh, like the bedroom and the kitchen was really like a kitchen. And really they cook there, they eat, they, you know, the soup is there. It's not their acting, they're really totally eating. And they use also the, the, the ceilings as part of, this, of their stage and they maximize everything. It was cool, I like that. And then David was really happy that, you know, I, I really support him. And, and and the show is getting better, and I, I'm happy with David because from from something to start with making porn it went good, and now he has some sponsors for this. Before it was just you know, uh, are are just uh, brochure, and 
he said that he promised to be part of the season for next year, next year for Bongo Fever. Hopefully, I will get a push over that because we were planning about that since 2010 after our show for uh, making porn. But he said like he he has no casting at that time, so now he's ready for it. So I'm I'm really looking forward to that too. Thank you, David. And don't forget to watch Body Awareness. It's really funny. Uh, they will run again next uh, week. The last day for the show will be April 20th. So after that, we drove up and. Um, the funny thing is, like, it was a little bad night for Remo because he we were chatting and suddenly he really missed the you know the, the light, the traffic light that he is supposed to drive on the red light. Except it's 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 red, so he stopped ah, a big break and he came he, you know reversed and he was really sometimes you have you know sidetracked sometimes and I said it's not your fault you know don't worry about that and he brought I mean we went up. Uh, to my place and he dropped me off and he said I really need the rest now so it's really a long night for us because from morning till like you know we got home like past 10 o'clock and uh, it, 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 was, it was really I'm sorry I'm flattering it was my very first uh, road trip with him a mini road trip and it, it was fun um, we, we get along you know as really dear friend we, we know our strengths and weaknesses and I, I love doing road trip with people and it know you we go we you know it helps you to go know each other you you know your own personality if you could adjust with each other <laughs> so tomorrow we have um, another work extra work for I'm gonna work with Debbie and Angie under, under Orange Blossom but we're gonna uh, what do you call this we're going to work first in the morning to finish the uh, the the shelves that he's doing but um, I'll be going to buy we're going to buy first the uh Habibi my new phone so where's my old phone this one we're gonna replace by a samsung again galaxy hopefully um we'll see tomorrow i'm so excited about it because it has at least the bigger uh what's the word memory and um also uh, my 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 uh, what my student's mom called me up this morning and she said that because well, I have two students, Melissa was deciding not uh, to stop learn, uh, having his piano, her piano lesson. So, and we're I'll be teaching Paolo tomorrow morning. So maybe after that, I'm gonna make a little closure with Melissa and ask her, you know, at least to, to make sure that everything was fine. So I don't know. I, I mean, I cannot control my students. If they want to quit, it's fine with me as well. But I'm still sad. That I felt like, what did I do wrong? I mean, is there something else, you know? And I want to learn something from her as well. Anyway, so that's what happened. Um, thank you so much, and I enjoy your weekend. And this is Louis. Thank you for following my journey. Until then, bye bye.